Now let's look at um, module one, unit three of entrepreneurship and uh, innovation. Is entrepreneurship and culture. Culture is a way of life. Is people's way of life. Almost all human activities have certain cultural values. That is their belief, custom, tradition, ethics, behavior of the people. It applies to individuals. It also applies to teams and the entire organization, apart from the society. It is said that entrepreneurship may be linked with culture because take for instance the issue of autonomy independence in some societies people strive to be independent to take their destiny into their hands so autonomy is part of human nature and most societies people strive to be independent but some cultures they encourage creativity more than others sense of responsibility is acknowledged in most cultures hard work you have other components of culture values rules of conduct in fact every organization has it as well vocabulary the language people don't just talk being disrespectful the way people talk and address other people methodology the way they do things rituals, myths, and the stories. In some cultures that are class conscious, in, in, in societies that are class conscious, for instance, low status person will tend to remain low. Not only does entrepreneurship allow people to be independent, give them, if people are entrepreneurial, whether in their thinking, in their way of doing things, if you are creative, not only will entrepreneurship allow you to get away from a dominant boss if you are working, it can even allow you to escape from poverty, depending on your background. Some people, you know, like uh, these days, some children that we are uh, born up by farmers or people in the rural areas, they try to escape the traditional part of careers like farming and all those low unskilled labor. It's only entrepreneurship that can give them the type of comfort, the type of encouragement that they want. A society can create a culture of entrepreneurship. Uh, if you look at this uh, little diagram, the government of Tanzania recently reviewed its teaching curriculum to allow students to gain uh, business skill. They said they want to prepare them for the future and they now want to start from uh, primary school. Is also obtained in many civilized countries. People don't wait again until people graduate from universities. You now take extra time to start learning entrepreneurship. It needs to be integrated in the school curriculum. So early enough, people will start getting used to the idea of creativity, idea of self-dependence, and idea try to take their future into their hands. Finally, entrepreneurial culture can be rooted in a society. Nigeria, for instance, you know, can start today. It's not late yet. Even if they don't, you can start on your own. Know that you can start dreaming. 
start thinking of what you like doing best your hobby what you like to do it doesn't matter what it is even if it is music arts buying and selling products producing things from local raw material you can do it so it's never too late or too early it can start from the family education can help to existing business organizations and local and national authorities can help in preparing our children for entrepreneurship is an empowerment focused there is freedom to succeed or fail but your own destiny lies in your hand it is for you to decide until we see you again bye for now